climbed your big brother some years back. Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Look at us. Shambhala. <laughs> Miss you, pal. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. killed each other for a piece of this. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. <laughs> now this was a crazy ride. My style anymore. Yeah. Here they come. Take cover. I'm surrounded. Bullseye. Take that. That. Back in business. Eat plastic. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, bring it. Gotcha. Time's over. Oh, is this what you're working on? Wow. 
Now we really need to go on another vacation. Been too long. You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. Probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Huh? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm-hmm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, it was some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Kind of so, so boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane, so. Kind of took this U-turn and came this elegy. Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in... Here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Mm-hmm. Uh, the people of, of uh, Bangkok. And, and the smog. And how they, they can't... Uh, can't get a flight anywhere, and people can't breathe. 
<laughs> wow. All right, I'm sorry. No, it was Valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not but worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Just stop, I'll do them. No, you did on. them last night. No, you cooked, I cleaned, it's fine. I mean, at least, at least uh, let, me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, 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 your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. OK, cowboy. OK, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! Yeah, and press X to jump. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Use your spin attack. Watch that pit. Watching it. I watched it. What is that thing? A fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot, and that's just it's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> good, good. There you go. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, easy mode. No, just keep talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet.
We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner, definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found... It, all confirmed you were dead. Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He said, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan, I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you still with me? <sighs> Need some air. You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey? Have a seat. I wanna hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. What's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, these were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jesus, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, um, a few years back, I got roped into. Uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? Uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kubla Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, there was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I've managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe, uh, Elena from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner, at my place. You're coming to dinner, I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about, what kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards, they're singing. Well, they're probably drunk. 
Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Sacame the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan. Fantástico. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Pedazo de madre. Madre de vuelta. Nunca saldrás de aquí. Silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. You remember how to use it? Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector. You do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Hágalo. Get close, Sammy. Come on. This is crazy! <laughs> We're going to leave to earn our freedom! Let's do this. You see, the plan's working. Yeah, I see. So now what? Estamos en posición. Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Estamos bien.
Carlos está en camino. Muy bien. Entre este gringo, tengo este código. ¡Tenemos que hacer! Take cover! Samuel, in a minute, you will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Shit! Stay back! Here, 
Samuel, drink. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm better than good, actually. <laughs> You're dehydrated. Go on, drink. Thank you. So, what's next for Samuel Drake, huh? mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long? What do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? Uh, it's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid... Got you at Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, 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 hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it. Okay, I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is. I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. To you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Have the treasure. Now, if you run or try to hide the treasure or do something really stupid like go to the authorities, I'll know. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. <laughs> Come on. No. The nearest town. It's ten kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it. Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. Uh, let's me go, and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off, and... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi Estate? Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. 
And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And <clears throat> where are you going to get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um, I don't know, like, uh, Jesus. anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not going to believe this. Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Yeah. I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm going to take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. And it'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But, I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep the tux clean. Thanks. <laughs> no, I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here. You mean with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Uh, well... Now the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like... Uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. Okay.
And there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> uh, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see it. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Here we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. <laughs> okay, so where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show-off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. Respira attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lì sta. Ehi, hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Should have guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. Ah, all those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. That should hold. All right, come on down. Tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds. Uh, 
The ones I missed. Can you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean <laughs> precarious. <clears throat> oh, shit! You okay up there? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. <clears throat> but I don't miss. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Ah. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? Be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah. Uh, about that. What? What about that? Come on. Let me show you something. This fine statue once belonged to the National Museum of Iraq. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the gods see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosse. 
Hey. Who are you? Ciao. Don't you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. I gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go on vegan. Pardon me? Ha! <laughs> you kidding me. Hell no. What are you doing? i just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. iniziato anche tu nel ramo immobiliare. You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a possible French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, uh obtained last year. You know, those hanging all thing? I don't know, abstract art shit. Anyway, we walk out past that giant ice bag. What is that thing, anyway, right? And we see this crepe vendor outside with his car. So I go over there, and I want to impress her. So I order a crepe with sugar, you know. Une crepe avec sucre. I know, yeah, wait a tick. And the crepe man nods. Then my girlfriend orders. She gets her crepe first, she walks off. And when she's out of earshot, the crepe man leans over and says, in perfect English, your French accent is terrible. <laughs> Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Mi dispiace. Here we are. Hey, let's do this. Hell, it's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Any 
he doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. I can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker, even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. I learn one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh, yeah, they're a full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. This skate wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. There you go. You see some fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. You guys? Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof, man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. Good job. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> yeah, something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, she'll be wary that Victor's chatting up Nadine Ross. I've heard some really scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Look, the vents. It's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Hold the lighter. 
Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario da Bobby looks like my size too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. Pezzi rubati ai ricettatori. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, that must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. There you go. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. Come on, Ed. Sam, you there? Sam? <clears throat> Sully? Great. Yeah. 
Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh, no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. Where the hell are you? Brave. How long has it been? 10 years? 12? 15. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want a bit against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Zoe. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. Why did I pick the power room?
ci pagano abbastanza. Se dobbiamo fare anche gli elettrici... Eh. Eh. Puoi dire di no. Ecco fatto. Oh. Speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. All right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here. It is a right now. He has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? Uh, he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Uh, screw it. Benny, we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bit brings Don't us worry. to 120. You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay, just gotta smash the lock. Now the bit has reached 130,000. <sighs> nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Your bit, gotta be something. Come on. Hey man, uh, I'm starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. The bidding stands at 160,000 euros in the room. Yes. Signore's bid makes 170,000. We are now at 150,000 <clears throat> euros in the room. <laughs> gotcha. We are now at 190,000 euros. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it, get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. <laughs> 